What's up, guys? Welcome to another video on Zelda Stone. As you know, I'm Ryan. And I'm Eli. And we just had an awesome Nintendo Direct the other day, in which we got to see the newest trailer for Tears of the Kingdom. We're going to be reviewing the trailer and telling you guys the things we noticed about this trailer. So let's get right into it. Alright, what you just saw was the newest trailer for Tears of the Kingdom. Now what we're going to do is we're going to watch it through again here, and you will see the, the phone in the reflection, but just try to ignore it, and we're going to point out different things that we see along the way. Pausing it first off here, first thing that you can see is this little green spiral right here. This was seen in the first trailer that was ever made for Tears of the Kingdom, which at the time was known as Breath of the Wild 2 and which will be seen later in the trailer in better detail. As you can see here, just a little thing you can notice. This is the boot camp place right by the Lost Woods. You can see by these little wooden tower things. It's just a cool little Easter egg in the trailer. It also seems like this will be a new creature that will be added to the game and will also be seen later in the trailer and seeming, have, seeming to have a bigger role. So right here, just remember this tower, it's got a light glowing up from it, and it's kind of sp looking spirally. Oh, Another thing that you can see here is this in the middle here, this glowing icon, when I first saw it, I trace it out, and it seems from the shape of it to be the skeleton of something, but it could also be light from something mysteriously new. And also before we move on, it seems like a lot of this trailer has been integrated into the Zonai, an ancient race of people in the first Breath of the Wild game, which were very obsessed with dragons and you could see their statues in the Pharaoh. This will be seen by a lot of the symbols, such as this pattern that makes up that. So this looks like some floating island obviously you've seen but this could be around lower than the tabantha region because you can see there's kind of craters in the ground and that is by one of the towers that's right around here somewhere and also if we zoom back and we go back to the part wait for it uh how do you how do you move the bar the bar might be in the way but on the bottom if you can see here i'll go back you can see one of the labyrinths from before Right here, you can see it looks like Lizafloss, but they have some upgrades, like new weapons. They look a little different. The graphics are obviously improved on this game. And um, then, in the back, you can see this glowing, spirally-looking thing that I pointed out earlier. Might be that. I don't know. Also, here, you can see these teardrop-looking glowing things. That is from the game Twilight Princess. It could be an Easter egg or it could be an important part of the game. Related to the title, of course, being Tears the Kingdom. Rise, rise, my. Right here, you can see this looks like one of the bosses from the first ever Zelda game. It's called Hydra and it has three heads and it's a dragon. You can also see this green glow back here, like I pointed out earlier, is one of those spirals that she can get back to. Another detail that can be seen here is it seems like Death Mountain is spinning off Calamity instead of Fighter, which may be interesting in going back to her more of the game. So you can see that this bridge is like the one from Lake Hylia because it has these big pillars. You can see the Hyrule Castle right there and you can see Death Mountain right there. Servants, sweep over high. So now as you can see here, like I pointed out earlier, here's that spiral. It seems to be coming up from some kind of rock that can be found all over the game. And also in a lot of the backgrounds, you can see up here, there seems to be a calamity in many of the backgrounds, meaning it could be more widespread than before. This is also Ganon talking, we believe. We do not have any confirmation of who it is, but you can see he's saying, rise, rise, my servants. Do not let any of them live. And there will also be something important that he says in a second, so listen very, very carefully. 
Hyrule. Eliminate this kingdom and her allies. If you just hear that, Ganondorf, uh, who we presume to be, or Ganon, just said to eliminate Hyrule and their allies, pointing out that there might be more than just Hyrule fighting against Ganon in this battle. Possibly another kingdom, or maybe the Zonai. Leave no survivors! So you can see here, these balls of fire that are being shot out of Calamity are, are similar, or the exact same as the ones that took over all the Guardians and Divine Beasts before. It's possible they could take over other machines that we'll be seen later in the trailer and before you take them back, but they also have another purpose that you'll see in a second. As you can see here, those moon rock looking things that came from the blood moon are spawning vocoblins. They may be able to spawn other monsters like moblins or lizifloss, but this is the only ones we can see in this part of the trailer. And also, if you didn't see in the background, I'll play a little farther. You can see right here, you see a bit of a bigger bokoblin than we've seen before. And also this here, which looks to be like one of the redeads from Ocarina of Time in the older games. And if any of you played those older games, they're very annoying, so I really hope that it would be a different situation here. And also this, which is a bigger bokoblin, also known as a moblin, in Skyward Sword. Um, so it seems like they might be bringing back mobs from older games. You can see here that the moblin has a different skull type thing. It looks like a hard rock with pointy ends. Kind of reminds me of a hardy durian. Another thing to notice here, not only can you see the castle being risen up from the ground, which will be covered later in a bigger theory we have. Background, you can also see this cloud up here. And that cloud is, reminds me of the one from Skyward Sword, the big thunderhead. And in that thunderhead in Skyward Sword was the island where the goddess statue gave you the song. So it's possible that something is bigger there than just lightning. You can see this is looking to be new Shika technology. As you can see that blue glow down at the very bottom. It showed more uh, earlier. But you can see these arms are not seen in Breath of the Wild, so it's most likely new or recently discovered. These arms seem to have been given a new purpose. Like Eli said, we didn't really get to see them much before because they were mostly just used on the Guardians, but now it seems like they will have a bigger purpose here. And as you can see, there's lots of Sheikah symbols. I was also thinking this may be an upside down guardian. It's possible. Once again, like earlier, there was that very big moblin there. We can also see that there seems to be new horns and or weapons or both here. Seems like their horns seem to be two pronged like that, which is fairly interesting. It's possible that horns might allude to like different ranks or such. No, we missed it. As you can see here, it is a Hinox, but it has this weird thing on its head and a green glowy thing here. You can also see on Link's belt there is some kind of a vial, possibly to hold something important, possibly maybe the Tears of the Kingdom that is alluded to in the title. You can also see that the paraglider seems to have ribbons going off of it, meaning that there might be possible new designs for the paraglider as you advance through the game. These flying creatures here are the ones that we saw earlier on, but this time it seems like they're carrying bokoblins, meaning that you could get an air raid from some bokoblins flying from the sky. It also seems that the bokoblin is holding some type of a stone hatchet right there. As you can see in the one down there, you'll be able to see that in a moment. So it seems like there will be more Buck Goblin weapons also. This also looks to be the part in Breath of the Wild that was covered by blackness. You had to walk through there, light all the uh, things with your torch and fire, and then defeat the Hanox. This looks like the inside of it, just not covered. Because you can see these, but they yeah. aren't in the, the maze original in the background. Breath of the Wild. Yeah. So it seems like we might be able to finally access that area on the light. 
Once again, here's another look at those moblins and what they have on their head. Um, so you can see it's a big box monster, has no eyes, no mouth, no nothing. There's just a bunch of new boxes. It looks different type of architecture in the game. It's and you different can tell, from the Sheikah, yeah, it looks more like Zonai. You could tell it's on an island, and you could tell that Link has to fight it, so it's not something that you can help, but it's an enemy, maybe a boss, and maybe the islands are where you fight the bosses. You can also see once again close up those vials there containing possible tears of the kingdom. Also, you can see a new type looking sword because no sword in Breath of the Wild is that short. You can see here's another look at the castle being lifted up by Calamity. And then once again, this is our protagonist, Ganondorf. And as you saw a frame before, it seemed like he was summoning something out of the ground, possibly lifting up the castle. And lifting up. But Link, I am not sure you'll be able to stop him. This is a very good view. We can see the castle and lots of islands. You can see there's different designs from like a floating cube to actual island looking things. You can see here, this looks to be the Tabantha region up in the northwest. You can see over here, this might be Death Mountain. You can see the castle like Ryan pointed out, and you can see a cube. This is right around the Akala region actually, so there is a chance that it's the Akala maze. Yeah. I think to correct Eli, possibly that might be a little renew here, because the look of the ground, it might be that we're over Elden. Like we said, the, the Death Mountain has something different about it. And if you look closely, there are those towers that we mentioned before with those lights coming out of it. Now, I've noticed this in many parts of this, but there seems to be different carvings on the ground. They look a lot like Zonai work, and this one seems to resemble the shape of an elephant with the trunk coming up right there. You can see back here, there is a tower looking thing maybe it's a new enemy tower like the boat goblins had in breath of the wild or it could be a replacement for the sheikah towers in breath of the wild because they seem to be scattered about another one right there just like these the... could also be the ones in the darker part but in the light of day you can see this is looking to be like a tracker arrow which will go straight to its enemy from wherever you shoot it. And once again, that's the same bird that we've mentioned multiple times before, seeing it could be a reoccurring enemy. As you just saw earlier, you could see that you can now ride with a shield, those minecart rails, and there's a new puzzle type thing. And also, as we saw for a brief moment before, it looked like some kind of divine beast puzzle, possibly alluding to a new divine beast. Also, if Ryan will go back, yep. you can see in just a second, pause it. There looks to be a new type of magic, like Magnesis, but with Zonai powers. And it also is coming out of his hand instead of a Sheikah slate. His also, Zonai hand. Yes, the Zonai hand, or so we assume. Also in the background, we can see some kind of dome that does not look like Death Mountain, but has some kind of calamity out of it, which we might see later. As you just saw, there was a launcher type thing that threw a fireball at a stone talus. That's pretty cool. Like the firepower from Mario. New weapon. As you may have seen, that could have been Zelda in a different clothing type than you've seen in other games. Or it could have been a Zonai ally that we have not seen before. But you can see them shaking hands with Link's Zonai arm. Once again, this seems like a different form of Magnesis, like before it's coming out of his hand, so it's possible that's the new form of power. And it also seems like it's glowing green instead of the red before. It also looks like it only works on Zonai items, like that puzzle that you can move in the island that we saw earlier in the trailer, and this Zonai wheel. And, and keep in mind that that's a wheel because you might have to assemble it with something in the future. This looks like it's also on the Great Plateau because you can see the edging here that you can't jump off of in the start of Breath of the Wild. And you can see that swamp. And actually, because normally in Breath of the Wild, there's a platform here 
that you have to make a bridge to by dropping like a log or something. And now it looks like that platform has collapsed, possibly leading to even more ruin than in the first Breath of the Wild. And then like we mentioned before, we saw those wheels and this is what it comes to. Seems like some kind of cart that you can drive around. You can see back here, it kind of looks like those electric receivers in Breath of the Wild, but with Zonai magic. You can see, it looks like a dragon head, wheels, some old wood that you could probably find, and some Zonai type glue that has Zonai electricity. You can also once again in the background see Death Mountain, and we can see very much here that it is Calamity coming out of the top. Once again here, we can see another type of transport. In the background we can see these small islands that go up and down, but the balloon is the main focus here. Once again, it seems to have like that Zonai glue kind of thing that Eli mentioned before. You can also see it looks like a fan blade on each side, put together with Zonai glue on just like a regular square of metal. Yeah, this right here is very important. You can see a lot here. This orb here might've been what we were seeing before. So it's possible that it is some kind of chamber for something. Not only that, these long lines going down, it's possible that they could be different ways up or beacons of some sort. Adding to Ryan's thing about this one, it could possibly be a dungeon because we did not see a lot of dungeons in Breath of the Wild. More focusing on the main divine beasts and the, shr uh, the, no, the shrines. Once again, we can see the towers reoccurring multiple times in the background. And there's also detail up here. I'll play it. As the title comes, we can see a piece falling from the sky right there, showing that the sky might not be being held up for long. And as you can see, here's the title page, but that audio you heard, it was like gibberish. It actually means help us backwards. People have interpreted it before, and this was in the first trailer. You can see in here that it's two dragons biting each other's tails, which means it um that is a symbol of infinity which could mean something very important in this game and also in the timeline of zelda please lend him your power you can see that zelda is back in the regular breath of the wild outfit maybe that was not her earlier but you can see like in the first trailer, she's falling, but this time Link is diving, trying to catch her, and she's asking somebody, maybe Link, maybe a Zonai person, to lend him your power. We don't know who him is, but it's either about Link or a Zonai person. And then we see the date that it's coming out. And that is the end of the trailer. Thank you for watching this part of the episode. Yep. That was a great trailer. Can't wait till the game comes out on May 12th. As you can see, we have the official Nintendo page background for Tears of the Kingdom. It has a link to the trailer. And it looks like we'll have to wait until May 12th to see if our predictions really came true. Thanks to the YouTube channel for Nintendo of America. That is where we got the trailer from to use for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And see you guys later.